As we are approaching the fall and winter season, it is becoming harder and harder to stay motivated. This gloomy weather is not it, but in this video, we will be pushing through it and making sure to not fall behind and stay on top of things. Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. It is November 1st. It is a new month. It is a fresh start. And so basically I have an entire to-do list written on my phone of things that I do every single month at the beginning of the month. These are all just things that make me feel more prepared and ready for the new month. It's kind of a way to reset myself. And so I thought it would be a great idea to bring you guys along with me as I go through the day and complete this list. Okay, let's get going. Step one, errands. I know, boring, but they must be done. The first few errands that I had on my checklist that I needed to get out of the way was one, going to put gas in my car, two, going to the post office to drop off some Depop packages, and then three, going on a quick Target run to pick up some essentials. So I just got back from Target and I'm gonna be giving you guys a really quick Target haul So first I had to stock up on some of these little shots These are supposed to be really good for you These have a lot of benefits and I'll talk about them later Got my favorite yogurt I needed some car air fresheners because I'm actually going to be cleaning my car today And then I got a bunch of coffee drinking stuff I have decided that I need to start drinking coffee again because my life is super chaotic right now I literally never have energy I'm sleep deprived 24 7 And I just know that these are gonna fix those problems So I got this Starbucks caramel creamer I got some Ghirardelli caramel caramel sauce and as you probably tell by now I am a caramel addict and lastly I needed some cold brew and this was very highly recommended on TikTok so I decided to try it out the last thing that I got was just this little drink here that is also super good for you I think that was everything now let's move on to the next errand one of the things that I neglect the most when it comes to cleaning is my car my car gets so dirty so fast for no reason I don't even want to show you guys what it looks like right now because it's so scary told you it was bad oh my finished washing the car and cleaning the entire inside and I am so proud of myself so far I finished like two tasks and I'm ready to reward myself so what am I gonna do reward myself before we begin the next step we must get into a comfy outfit and put our hair up because it's about to get intense so this is now the part where we're going to be cleaning my room and no i'm not just talking about the surface of my room we're going to be doing some intense deep cleaning right now i'm talking cleaning the inside of my desk decluttering all of my drawers taking all the trash out all of these parts of my room are the parts that i neglect the most they just get really easily cluttered and if i just take at least one day to force myself to actually organize and clean these parts of my room i feel so much better and it really does make a huge difference the cleaning montage. Towards the end of the day, I wanted to let myself wind down a little bit. I put on my cute workout set, burned some incense, lit another candle, turned on my LED lights, I opened my blinds to let in some light, and played a 10 minute yoga flow on YouTube. I got in the shower. 
then I proceeded to do my hair care routine. And guys, let me know in the comments what I should do with my hair. I have been so indecisive. I am aware that my hair is super damaged. Like, it needs help. So either I keep experimenting and try out new hair colors, or I can go back to my natural hair color and attempt to make it healthy again. <laughs> One of my goals this month is to fix this hair problem. So please help me out with it in the comments and let me know what I should do. The best way to start off your month is by reflecting on the previous one, setting goals for the new one, and making sure to manifest. I am determined to end this year off strong. There is literally only two months left. Can you believe that? Because I can. Honestly though, what we all need to stop doing is waiting until the end of the year to feel motivated. It's usually at this time of the year that it feels the easiest to want to slow down. There's just so much going on, like all the holidays, the weather is super depressing and gloomy, and half the time I just want to stay in bed and I start to feel so unmotivated. So because of that, this is the time of the year that I really need myself to just push through it all. And ever since I started keeping up with these monthly and even weekly reset routines, I've managed to maintain maintain this motivation even on the days where I don't feel like doing anything. Also, my life feels like it has so much more structure. And I know there's gonna be so many of you watching this thinking, girl, I am way too lazy to keep up with a reset routine. Is there an easier alternative? And my answer to that is yes, get yourself a journal. Okay, hear me out. This is my personal favorite way to keep myself in check. Journaling is also a way for me to constantly remind myself of what my goals are. So right now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I set up my little like journal project prompts every month to fill out. Since the year is coming to an end, I'm gonna make this month's prompt a way to help me strategize for the end of the year to be successful. I just finished making myself my coffee and hopefully this thing actually keeps me awake because lately I have been struggling to do that. What I need myself to do right now is actually start planning my month. I have my Hello Kitty calendar here that I'm gonna be using to write out stuff that is coming up in the next few weeks. I also like to write down my goals on this calendar at the very bottom. I love this calendar so much because I always have it up on my wall so it helps me visually see what the month is gonna look like. So this is something that I need myself to do at the beginning of the month every single month. So one of the last things that I wanted to talk about before I wrap up this monthly reset routine is actually about one of the goals that I set for myself this month, which is to read more books. And to be more specific, I actually want myself to finish the books that I start reading because at the beginning of the year, I would literally just start books and then never finish reading them. So to keep myself motivated, I'm gonna set a goal to finish reading at least minimum one book a month. And so I actually recently bought these two new books that I plan on reading this month. And another one of the goals that I have for this month is to start building my online presence. I did want to talk a little bit about how I plan on doing that with Squarespace. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. You can manage your members, send email communications, and even leverage audience insights. It truly is an all-in-one easy-to-use platform. You can create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. And lastly, you can display posts from your social media profiles on your website. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash adelala to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So that ended up being everything that I did for this month's reset routine. Let me know in the comments what your goals are for this month. After making this video i feel so much more prepared for the new month if you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know by hitting the like button and guys we are so close to 400 000 subscribers that is one of my goals for this upcoming month so if you're still watching and you're not subscribed already make sure to do that love you guys so much and bye